What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Y'all gather around. Get your popcorn ready. Get you a snack. This is going to be a good one today, right? So, you know, this is the result of the aftermath of me criticizing Eminem's song Houdini and me talking about his stands being the worst fan base in hip-hop culture, right? Ever. And so, a brother... At least I think he is a brother because you know how a lot of people be having black avatars on YouTube and they really don't be black. But it was a brother that had a black avatar. It was an avatar of a black man, right? This brother told me because in the video I was explaining how, you know, hip hop, when, when I say, like, I always say Eminem can't be a GOAT. Like, he can't be not a GOAT. He can't be the GOAT, the greatest of all time in hip hop culture because our, in black communities, in predominantly black communities, Eminem is not played like that. Now, you got some kids, some emo black kids that bump his stuff. You got some kids who, you know, you got people that like his music, certain small sections. But I said he's not played at any of our black functions. Not at the block party, not at the Labor Day barbecue, the Memorial Day barbecue, not at the family reunion, not at the baby shower, not at the birthday parties. Not at the HBCU events, not at the goddamn block party. He not played at none of our events. And I said, if black folks ain't co like culturally, for the most part, black folks ain't feeling your music like that, how can you be the goat of this genre when the people who started the genre don't really feel your music a whole lot like that? Right? And so, because I said that hip hop is black culture, black culture put over beats. And so, because it was created by black people. So a brother, alleged brother, comes in my comments and says, hip hop is not black culture. It's urban culture. Well, brother, who the hell you think live in these urban neighborhoods, bro? Predominantly. Predominantly. I ain't talking about New York. That's a whole nother thing. I'm not talking about LA. I'm talking about in all the other places across America. Who do you think predominantly lives in these black, in these urban neighborhoods for real? For real, for real, bro. Like, knock it off. The brother talking about it's not hip-hop. Hip-hop is not black culture. It's urban culture. See, this is the problem with black folks. Stop denying our stake in creation in hip-hop. Stop denying our stake in creation in a culture. Other or other groups of people and ethnicities are not going to do that. Black folks have been trained to, like, deny our, our um creation of something because we don't want to offend nobody or make nobody feel bad. Fuck that, bro. I'm not saying that you know, only black people can participate in hip hop. I'm not saying that at all. Anybody is welcome to participate for sure. What I'm saying is black folks created hip hop. It's a black genre. Black hip hop is a black art form created by black people, particularly black American people. But I'm going to get to that later. And I know some of y'all going to be like, well, how can you say that? Cool Herc is from Jamaica. Grandmaster Flash is from Barbados. But we're going to get to that later. My point is, stop trying to take credit away from our people from something for something that we created, bro. Black man, how dare, how dare you get up in here talking about it's not black culture, it's urban culture. Urban culture. Bro, you want, you want Eminem to be like the GOAT so bad, you're willing to deny your people's claim in hip-hop and your, their stake in hip-hop, bro? Black American folks can't have nothing without people trying to take credit away from us. And here you go trying to t take hip hop away from us. It ain't black culture. Bro, this is why cultural appropriation is so dangerous. Because people will participate in a culture long enough and cosplay in it so much. The key word is cosplay, not just participate. People will cosplay in a culture so much that they'll start to reshift the story and say they had a hand in actually creating it when they didn't, right? The fact of the matter is the entire globe loves hip-hop culture and emulates black culture that they see in hip-hop. From the way we dress, the way we walk, the way we carry ourselves, the style, the bop, like the, the bop that we walk with, certain, certain machismo we got. People around the globe emulate that, right? And you don't want us to be, you want to act like it's not black culture because you like Eminem and don't want Eminem to feel alienated within the culture. Knock it off, brother. It's nothing wrong. Eminem is a participant in the culture. And, you know, uh, the boy, he can rap. I just don't like a lot of the stuff he's been putting out over the last 15 years ain't been hot to me. And we ain't never culturally felt his content 
it has never really resonated with our black people as a, as not as a whole, but generally, most of your your blonde, your grandmama, your not even just your grandmama, your mama, your daddy, your your uncles and them was not bumping them like M and M like that. Y'all know that, right? He wasn't played at any of our functions, and what I'm saying is, he can be a participant, but don't try to like act take that like take our stake in it away from our people because you like you don't want him to feel alienated, bro. Cut it off, cut it out, because there's been too many too many people over the years saying that hip hop wasn't created by black folks. You got people saying that black Americans and Latinos created hip hop 50-50. I have no ill will or, or ill regard to no Latin people, you know what I mean, um, to no other ethnicity of people at all. I got love for everybody. Anybody that know me and know my heart know that. But I'm not going to let this lie be told that hip hop was created by Latinos and black Americans 50-50. If that was true, Latinos should still be running hip hop 50-50 right now because they would recognize it as their art form and make a concerted effort to participate in the field of rap and be excellent in it. But it's not, they don't. They don't dominate hip hop spaces because they know it's really, that's not really their culture like that. You know, they participated in it, but it's not their culture. Latinos and Caribbeans didn't play any part in creating hip hop. I'm gonna say it again. Latinos and Caribbeans did, didn't play any part in creating hip hop. Keyword, creating hip hop, because they did not. Okay, what do I mean by that? Um, and I'm gonna say this if y'all say that L Latinos and Caribbeans played a part in the creation of hip hop, show me the hip hop of South America and Jamaica in the 70s. Show it to me, show it to me, and I'm gonna say, okay, I was wrong. Show me the hip, the, show me the hip hop of South America and Jamaica in the 70s. And again, don't bring up the legendary. Uh, DJ Cool Herc, because yes, I know he's Jamaican, right? I know he's a legend in the culture, but he's not the godfather of hip hop like y'all try, try, like y'all try to claim him to be. He's not the godfather of hip hop. Why do I say that? Even though Cool Herc is legendary and he is a major contributor to hip hop and it being more popular because he had the big parties and all that. Yes, he's a major contributor in hip hop. All of the elements of hip hop culture was already here in America. When DJ Cool Herc arrived here, all, all of the elements of hip hop culture was already in America already when Herc came to America. The Black Brothers on the Islands had a different vibe and it wasn't anywhere near hip hop sound. Black, black folks in the Caribbean, they had a whole different vibe and it wasn't anywhere near hip hop sound. Cool Herc simply extended the break beats, but he learned, he, he extended the break beats but he learned DJing from black American DJs, bro. When he immigrated to America, he learned the style of art of DJing from black American DJs. When you listen to early hip hop music, it had no Jamaican influences at all. None whatsoever. Herc was playing black American artists like James Brown, etc. Right? Black American folks in New York also rejected reggae music and Jamaican culture. So there was no Jamaican influence in the music. And if it would have been tried, if they would have tried to implement it in, it would have been shut down because it would not have been accepted. Furthermore, I'm going to say this, man. I'm not trying to disrespect the legendary Cool Hurt. Iconic, right? But he assimilated to black American culture and brought none of the Jamaican culture to early hip hop music. He did not. You know? Um, and I'm going to say this too. A lot of Latino, Latinos and other cultures or ethnicities jumped on board the ship with the hip hop movement and the sound, but it don't mean they created it. I'm going to say that again. I got my notes. A lot of Latinos and other cultures and ethnicities jumped on board the ship with the hip hop movement and sound, but they did not create it though. They didn't, right? Latinos created their own music as well as Caribbeans. They made their own music. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. No, it's not. But they did not create hip-hop music. I know a lot of people be like, oh, Latinos was the ones that created the graffiti and all of that. Man, a black man named Cornbread is credited for tagging and graffiti in hip-hop. For start, He's credited for, for starting tagging and graffiti in hip-hop, right? 
And then, you know, they allow the Puerto Ricans because, you know, Fat Joe, he want to say the Puerto Ricans was creating it too. You have Puerto Ricans who participated in hip hop culture, who participated in break dancing, et cetera, right? But in hip hop's origin phases in the 70s, a lot of the Puerto Rican community hated hip hop culture. I'm going to repeat that again, man. You have Puerto Ricans who participated in break dancing, et cetera. But in hip hop's origin phases in the 70s and all that, a lot of the Puerto Rican community hated hip hop culture. They were calling it jungle bunny music and N-word music and all of that. Right? So how can the Puerto Ricans be, oh, they the ones who started it? Well, they rejected hip hop culture early. They did. Now, it was some black folks that rejected it too, but they weren't creating it. Black folks was getting on board with it. Now, the older, older ones wasn't, but most black people, they was getting on board with it, right? Because they knew it was a culture. It was music created by our people coming from our folks. You know what I mean? And Latinos did not create breakdancing, you know? So, man, it, 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 hip-hop came from all parts of black American culture, like I say, which is emulated today. Which is why I get mad when you got some Canadian, you know, a lot of brothers in Canada, and I have no problem with people from Canada. Shout out to Canada. Uh, again, I told y'all, Drake, I mean, Drake lost that battle against Kendrick Lamar. I'm going to stick by that. That was clear as day. But I like a lot of Drake music. And I'm going to say this, though, man. Um, and I have nothing against, you know, nobody from Canada. Shout out to Canada, because I got subscribers from Canada. But when I see brothers like Pressa, I don't even know songs Presser make. I just know he was famous for dating Coyle Ray. He in there trying to make fun of black American people. Y'all ain't got no culture. Y'all ain't got no culture. Because there's a lot of like Caribbeans that have been, that have immigrated to Canada and all that, right? Down talking black Americans, brother. You wearing them clothes, do rags, and all of the type of fashions you wear come from black American people. Y'all was watching black American folks and emulated that shit and tried to bring it over there emulating the way people do rapping style all of that and try to bring it over there do rag wearing a certain a certain way you're rocking your clothes all of that man come on man that's black american stuff talking about we ain't got no culture all right bro it sounds good man it's and they're trying to disrespect black folks but then want to participate in an art form that black people created how the hell do that sound bro that sounds stupid and sound ignorant you know what i mean and i look at it like this now man like, there are all the, it's so many black American artists that many participants in the hip hop culture emulate and aspire to be, right? Now, black artists aspire to be them too. But I'm gonna say this around the world, there are so many black artists that many participants in the culture emulate and aspire to be. People like Pac, Dre, Cube, Snoop, Wayne, Outkast, T.I., Jay Z, 50, Kendrick Lamar, N.W.A., J. Cole, DMX, Jada Kiss, right? Now, Big. His Caribbean coach, he's from Jamaican, right? Jamaican brother, right? Dope, phenomenal rapper, right? Without question, I'm never going to deny that. But uh, outside of Big, I mean, it's other people outside of Big, too. But on the majority side, a lot of the artists that people emulate, look up to, and try to be black American artists, man. Black American artists who've been excelling in this genre and taking it to new heights on a regular basis, man. It, it carrying the flag for the culture, taking it all across the globe, all of that, man. And for black folks to sit up here trying to deny our stake and our claim in hip hop is disrespectful. It's egregious. It's just like to me, that's clowned out behavior. All because you don't you don't want Eminem and his stands to feel uh, bad. Like, bro, you don't gotta feel bad, bro. They'll be all right, bro. They know hip hop was a black art form created by black people. But anybody can participate in it, and Eminem will tell you that. He know it's a black art form and black art culture. No, it's urban culture. Bro, shut up, bro. Who living in most of them urban communities that you talking about? I ain't talking about New York either. You know what I mean? And then y'all gonna say, well, hip hop started in New York. It did. But again, the Latino community and stuff was rejecting hip hop culture at first in, the early, in its early stages. For real. And it had no Caribbean influences in early hip hop. It was not. Black American influences only, man. Black folks who grandmama came from South Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Georgia. You know what I mean? From the South, bro. So, you know, it's, it, yeah, it just boggles my mind when I see black folks trying to deny 
our um our our creation in the genre and try to give it off to other folks. Oh no, it wasn't just black people. It was the Hispanics. They was helping us. They was the one that created. They created it with us. They created it with us. No, it was the Caribbeans from over there and the Dominican and the, the Puerto Ricans who created it with us. No, it wasn't. Black American people created the hip hop, and it's all elements of Black American culture in the early parts of hip hop, man. Without question. Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out, y'all. Peace.